<laughs> oh my god. Taurus, what did you do to this person? You know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. They're gonna come and say they're sorry. I don't know why. It's like the, the old versus the new. The, the past versus the future. That's the energy I get with you, Taurus. It, it's like wanting to move into the future, but then not really sure how to. Or not really sure if it's actually worth moving into the future. Three of Cups. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Spirit, you can't do this. You cannot do this, Spirit. This this Emperor and this Karmic, they became enemies overnight. They cannot be in the same house together. They do not sleep together. They do not have SEX. It doesn't matter if they're married. It's already over. It's over. I don't care what they're posting on Facebook. This third party may be holding on to this individual, but for this, in the, for this individual, their energy, it is done between them and the third party. Hello, Taurus. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is what you need to hear right now. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support, and with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. God is in this read from a beautiful Taurus. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. I'm getting something about Domino's Pizza or Papa John's Pizza. No, no, no. I'm seeing Domino's. I'm seeing the Domino's. The, the, um, you know, the logo where it's blue and red. Anyhow, and the little Domino. You have Mars here. So that's Aries energy. We could see the Tower, the Fool, the Emperor. Here you have Sagittarius. Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. This is Jupiter energy. Then you have number 11, Venus, the Justice card, Libra energy. Very interesting. You have two planets here appearing on the dates that are in retrograde currently, Mars and Jupiter. Now, it's a lot going on in your energy. I do see that here. There's several energies trying to get into your energy. I also feel like you could be going through a tower moment right now in your life. There could be some sort of upheaval or an energy of you uh, f feeling like a situation is falling apart or, or there's no coming back from a situation. Two of Swords. I really feel like this Two of Swords is like... <sighs> Yeah, Two of Swords and the Hangman. Now, this could be you or this could be somebody that's watching you. But it's like, or it could be the both of you even. Someone here is trying to make a decision. I feel like making this decision would initiate some sort of change. Like walking into the unknown, so to speak. But... Is the is the risk worth the reward? I don't know why. It's like the the old versus the new, the the past versus the future. That's the energy I get with you, Taurus. It, it's like wanting to move into the future, but then not really sure how to, or not really sure if it's actually worth moving into the future. Three of Cups, Two of Swords. Wonder what that's all about. What do you have to tell us? What do you have to tell us? To Taurus, what messages do you have for us? Okay. Nine of Wands at the bottom. Wow. Two of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Hierophant. What do we have here? Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands. Hmm. 
Here, let's move. Cause I'm way I'm I'm way too to my right over here. It's like weird. Okay. Taurus, you're being washed by several people here. It's such an awkward energy in your read. Can I get a clarification? That four of wands and that eight of wands. What is this? Six of wands? You're moving forward and you're going to be successful? No, page of wands. Somebody here is messaging you. And what about this page of swords? What do you have to say about this page of swords? Ten of wands. Queen of Cups, you're packing up and, and leaving a situation. And we're back to the Nine of Wands. You're packing up and leaving a situation. Could be a home, job. Romance. Okay, could be uh, you're divorcing from someone. But I see here that you have had enough in a situation and you're getting ready to leave. Uh, I feel like because the Ace of Pentacles is there, it could be a job. There could be some sort of new job offer headed your way, Tauros. But I'm just going to be honest. It's going to require you to relocate or move uh, uh, further out of town. Or, or do the commute, so to speak. So do bear that in mind. You are going to have to make a decision on this. I'm going to get another tarot deck. What are you trying to tell us in this read, Spirit? What are you trying to tell us? It, it, it feels like there's a lot of chaos around you guys. I don't know if I'm misreading that or not, but it feels like a lot of chaos or confusion. Trying to make a decision, trying to decide on what to do here. It, it's like there's a big decision here that you are needing to make or you know you need to make. Or, or you feel like the, the clock is against you or something. Nine of Pentacles, Justice. It's like a sense of urgency. Yes, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands over the Eight of Wands. It's a sense of urgency. Like, you you need to make a decision. Hold up. King of Cups. Wait a minute. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Spirit, you can't do this. You cannot do this, Spirit. We have a pair here. <clears throat> okay, what are you trying to tell us with this? Wow. <sighs> oh my god. Taurus, what did you do to this person? You know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. They're going to come and say they're sorry. They're going to say they're sorry. They're going to say that you're the one for them. Then they want to make love. They want to take things fast with you. So this is the main thing. You're about to get this offer from someone. Oh, wow. You're the empress. You're the Empress slash Queen of Pentacles. So even though you could be having like job troubles, I feel like most of you are good on your money. Yeah, because you work hard, you know how to save. <sighs> Knight of Wands. No, it's the same energy that comes out in these reads, y'all. It's the same energy. And until the collective shifts, the truth is, this energy is always going to be here until the collective makes a shift. But it's this person, Six of Pentacles, somebody's coming back to you because they are broke. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. You know, we've all been through a struggle. I'm laughing because 
I heard a spirit say, spirit said this person is like an animal, <laughs> like a dog in heat or something. <laughs> oh God, yeah. So what's happening here? The world. Yeah, somebody wants to have a brand new cycle with you, Tauros. That's what this is. That's what's happening here. Look, I cannot even make it up. Somebody wants to have a brand new beginning with you, Taurus. They want a brand new beginning. They want to get married. They want marriage now. They want kids. Somebody is ready to settle down. And I feel like in the past, they weren't. I feel like in the past, they were not ready to settle down. They didn't want to hear what you have to say. Now they do, Taurus. Now they do, and they expect you to listen, and if you don't listen, they're going to try to take you by force, okay? This is a my way or the highway type of person, okay? They're not going to take no for an answer. They're really stubborn. They're going to be messaging you, blowing up your phone. You have the emperor there. Yes, this emperor is taking this leap of faith. This masculine energy, he, she, they, them, it. They're taking this leap of faith. They want to be with you. They want to be with you. They know that you're their empress. They know that you're their empress. So they want to come home to you. But they also... Y'all, I have to tell you guys something, okay? And what I'm about to tell you is really... I, I, I don't know. May, maybe some of you care, maybe some of you don't. But I'm just going to say it. What I have to tell you is... All about this person. This person has some serious financial issues. I, I don't know what happened, if they got in trouble with the law, if, if they have like a lawsuit, or if they're having to pay for a lawyer because they were doing something that, that was illegal, or if they had to quit their job. I, I don't know what the story is. It's going to be different for everybody. But the, the moral of the story is this individual is broke. They are broke. They, they don't have nothing. They have nothing to their name. Okay. They're looking at you as the jackpot, basically. I hate saying that. That sound, It just sounds so wrong. But they're looking at you as a jackpot. And perhaps you are their jackpot. Perhaps you are their ace. Okay? But they are thinking, like, I need to get over with my empress. <clears throat> you see, Fro Chakra, they're not going to tell you this, though. They're not going to tell you that they're broke. And that their eyeballs are up to they their eyeballs are up in debt. They're not going to tell you this, but they are looking at you, their empress. They're like, I need to get over there really, really quick because my empress is doing good. He, she, they, them, it. My empress is doing good. They're financially well off. I need to go over there because I'm going to have success with my empress. This individual does stuff, uh, like, they do, they make very hasty decisions. They, they, they are not connected to spirit. They don't connect with spirit. They're, they're too in the 3D. You know, it's no longer about hard work. Yes, sometimes it requires, there's, uh, you know, sometimes there is hard work, but it's mainly about manifesting now. You know, if you're still trying to, like, send out a hundred job applications... It's just you're not going to find the success you're looking for. Now, in this 5D energy, it's all about manifestation. That's part of our test. That's part of our ascension, is manifesting what we want. But look here, Knight of Swords. This is about to be a hot pursuit. It's the same thing as a Leo read. But you see, Six of Pentacles. This individual, they're broke. They're broke. What is their living situation? Their living situation. What can you tell us about their living situation? The Hierophant. They could be living with a family member. But I feel like that's tempor temporary. Um, They could have been living with a third party. But if there was a third party, the third party and them are done. It's done and it's over. It's done and over with. There's no third party anymore. Yeah, it could be the third party kicked this person out. You know, it could be that they were married. If this person was married, you guys, the marriage is over. <clears throat> Their ex-wife, ex-husband has kicked them out or is about to kick them out because they don't want to uh, sleep in the same uh, same household. Okay, they, bas they basically... These, this, this emperor and this karmic, 
They became enemies overnight. They cannot be in the same house together. They do not sleep together. They do not have SEX. It doesn't matter if they're married. It's already over. It's over. I don't care what they're posting on Facebook. This third party may be holding on to this individual, but for this, in the, for this individual, their energy, it is done between them and the third party. Kids or no kids, it, it's it's done. It's over with. This individual, yeah, Ace of Wands, you see Spirit is saying yes. Spirit is saying yes, and they're saying this person. Oh, God. I don't know. Y'all need to... You see, you guys are going to reject this person. Yeah, you, you guys are, because they're chasing after you. This person is going to chase after you. After you reject them, they're going to chase after you. That, get, that This is the moral. This is why the, the energy is so chaotic. This individual is panicking because they didn't think that you would reject them. They don't think that you're going to reject them. But when you reject them, you say no to their offer or you don't welcome them in with open arms. Because they are, Taurus, this person has a lot of audacity. They're expecting you to welcome them in with open arms. Um, they're fully expecting you to comply with them. This is someone that's like, my way or the highway. That's what I'm saying. This is really stubborn. This person is really stubborn. But you see that, you know, I hate to say it, Taurus, but this is why God was like, you guys are a perfect match because Taurus, you're the only one that can put this person in this in their place and humble them. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Sometimes some people need to meet their match. And you're this person's match. You're the only one that can humble them in a graceful manner. You're the only one that can put them in their place and check them. Checkmate. You're the only one, Taurus. As much as you may hate this person, you can't stand the sight of them. <laughs> Some of you may love this person, right? But for those of you that have like a hate towards this person, just know it ain't over. Oh no, 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 Spirit. <laughs> Spirit said, wait a minute, wait a minute, Taurus, where do you think you're going? You still got to deal with this, you and this person. If you and this person have a past life cycle, past life karma, you you know, you can walk away. People are going to be mad, but I'm going to say the truth. You can walk away and say, yeah, it's done, it's over. But if that person has not finished with you, and if God is in agreement that it is not finished between the two of you, then you guys will come back together to, to work out whatever needs to be worked out. My grandma and grandpa were twin flame. And they spent years running from each other. And guess how it ended? They ended up in the same nursing home. And that's how it was. They had to live there for the rest of their lives. And they were mainly the they they were the only two that mainly spoke Spanish there, so they really only had each other to talk to. So, look, don't look. I'm I'm just a mess. <laughs> oh God, look, I'm just a messenger. I love y'all, and I thank each and every one of y'all for the support. But I know some people get triggered by the things I say, and it's not intentional. I'm not doing it on purpose. But the thing is, if spirit feels like you guys have unfinished business, then, you know, you gotta, you gotta put your big boy, big girl pants on and, and just deal with it and close out the cycle in a healthy, uh, professional manner, right? Uh, I just feel like this energy has been really heavy. This has been weighing on you. This person has been doing spellcraft. Excuse me, witchcraft. They've been doing all they've been doing everything in their power to block new love from coming in. I'm telling y'all, they've been doing it. They've been doing it so strong. It's not working though. The magic is wearing off. I see other energies headed your way. I see other people looking at you. I see other people complimenting you. Yeah, I'm seeing okay, for those of you into men, I'm seeing a Mexican man with black hair. He could have a beard or mustache. 
And he could also have black horn rimmed glasses, but he's complimenting you or something. He's actually very charming to look at. You know, because some people be like, oh, a person with glasses. No, this individual is, is quite charming to look at. They're very intelligent and sophisticated. It's like you're getting at an attention from people. And as time moves on, you're going to get more attention. And this individual, this feels like a twin flame, divine masculine. They seem to know. They seem to know. It seems to me they're getting the downloads, they're getting the dreams. But they absolutely do not want you being with anybody else, having SES with anybody else. They see you as their property. So you guys are going to have to figure out what you wish to do. What you need to hear right now is that this person is coming with a vengeance. Yeah, Seven of Cups, they want to bring justice to the situation. They know they did you dirty, so they want to say they're sorry. You know, and how can I make it up to you? This person will do anything to get in your good graces, Taurus. That's the point of this read. They will do anything to get in your good graces and to have your forgiveness. So that is your read. That is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.